Welcome to the Blue Collar Tutor, test preparation series for the New York City Fire Department, S12 Certificate of Fitness for Citywide Sprinkler Systems. This series will provide you with a convenient review of the material for the written exam. This preparation course includes information taken from the 2008 New York City Fire Code, Chapter 9, Fire Department Rules, Chapter 9, and the National Fire Protection Agency, Standard 25, 2002 edition, for inspection, testing, and maintenance of water-based fire protection systems. It is critical that you understand this material to help increase your chances of passing the exam. A transcript of this material is provided for free by the New York City Fire Department. See the link in the description below to upload the transcript and additional reference guides that you'll need to familiarize yourself with for the exam. Instructions on the application process to register for the exam are also provided via the link below. If you haven't already, it is recommended to watch the brief overview video in this series at least once before moving on to the subsequent volumes. After an initial run-through of the entire series, refer back to these volumes as often as you need until you feel confident with the material. Once you've familiarized yourself with all of the material in this course, continue on to the practice test sections at the end of the series. There you will find over 200 questions to test your knowledge of the material. 1. Introduction a sprinkler system is a fire extinguishing system, other than a water mist system, that utilizes water as the extinguishing agent. Whether a building shall be provided with sprinkler protection or not is generally set forth in the New York City Building Code. The fire code, however, does contain several sprinkler requirements, such as for the high-piled combustible storage and for buildings constructed on streets of substandard width. Inspection, testing, servicing, and other maintenance of sprinkler systems must be personally supervised, Fire Code 901.6.3, and be performed in accordance with National Fire Protection Association Pamphlet No. 25, 2002 edition. All multiple dwellings, factories, office buildings, warehouses, stores and offices, theaters and music halls, and all hospitals and asylums, and all public schools and other public buildings, churches and other places where large numbers of persons are congregated for purposes of worship, instruction, or amusement, and all piers, bulkheads, wharves, pier sheds, bulkhead sheds, or other waterfront structures shall provide such fire hose, fire extinguishers, buckets, axes, fire hooks, fire doors, and other means of preventing and extinguishing fires as the commissioner may direct. Required fire protection systems shall be extended or altered as necessary to maintain and continued protection whenever the building or structure is altered. Fire Code 901.4.1 Systems not complying with this section shall be considered to be impaired. It shall be unlawful to install or maintain any fire protection system or device that has the physical appearance of fire protection equipment but that does not perform a fire protection function where it may be confused with actual fire protection equipment. Fire Code 901.4.4 An example would be a CCTV camera modeled to look similar to a sprinkler head. Sprinkler and or standpipe system maintenance and inspections. Fire code 903.5. 1. Automatic and non-automatic sprinkler systems shall be inspected, tested, and maintained as required by NFPA No. 25, 2002 edition, by a competent person holding a certificate of fitness employed by the owner to see that all parts of the system are in good working order and that the fire department connection, or connections if any, are ready for immediate use by the fire department. A detailed record shall be kept of each inspection for examination by any representative of the fire department. 2. A supply of at least six extra sprinkler heads shall be kept available on the premises to replace promptly any fused or damaged sprinklers. Any head which has opened or has been damaged shall be replaced immediately with sprinkler head of similar characteristics, such as operating temperature, orifice size, deflector orientation, and thermal sensitivity. 3. At least once in five years, the fire department connection or connections for a sprinkler system shall be subjected to a hydrostatic pressure test to demonstrate its suitability for fire department use. The test shall be arranged to be conducted by a master fire suppression piping contractor in the presence of a fire department representative. The contractor shall be hired by the owner or the owner's representative. 4. There shall be one or more employees with a certificate of fitness to inspect the sprinkler system following the standard of the NFPA 25 of 2002. 2. Responsibility of the building owner. It shall be the owner's responsibility to maintain the sprinkler system and to determine the individual qualifications and competencies of the individual 
his certificate of fitness holder, to perform certain functions related to inspection, testing, and maintenance. Fire Code 901.6.2 Records Records of all system inspections, tests, servicing, and other maintenance required by this code, the rules or the reference standards shall be maintained on the premises for a minimum of three years and made available for inspection by any department representative. Fire Code 901.7.1 Impairment Coordinator The building owner shall assign an impairment coordinator to comply with the requirements of this section. In the absence of a specific designee, the owner shall be considered the impairment coordinator. The building owner or their agent shall assign an impairment coordinator to maintain records of all system inspections, tests, servicing, and other items of maintenance, shall be kept on site for a period of three years and made available for inspection by any member of the FDNY. In absence of a specific designee, the building owner shall be considered the impairment coordinator. 3. Out of service systems. Planned removal from service. When the system or a portion of the sprinkler system is placed out of service for a scheduled inspection, testing, regular maintenance, minor repairs, or for construction affecting not more than one floor, the certificate of fitness holder and the impairment coordinator shall be made aware of and authorize the placing of the system out of service. Unplanned out of service condition. A serious defect in the sprinkler system including, but not limited to, an empty tank, a break or major leak in the system's water piping, inoperative or shut water supply valves, defective fire department connections, construction-related shutdowns affecting more than one floor, or complete or partial shutdowns of the sprinkler system other than a shutdown for a planned removal from service. Fire department notifications for out-of-service conditions. A. For a planned removal from service, as described above, no notification to the fire department is required, provided the system will be returned to service within an eight-hour period, and when all other fire protection systems in the building, standpipes and alarm systems, are fully operational. B. For an unplanned removal from service as described above, the certificate of fitness holder, impairment coordinator, and or other person responsible for inspecting, maintaining, or supervising the operation of a fire protection system shall immediately report such condition to the owner of the building and to the fire department borough communications office. Fire Code 901.7.5 C. The initial fire department notification shall include the following. 1. A brief description and extent of the out-of-service condition. 2. The area of the building affected. 3. The type of occupancy. 4. The estimated time the system will be out of service. 5. The name and phone number of the person making the notification. D. When the certificate of fitness holder observes a minor defect or other condition not presenting a serious safety hazard, he or she shall report the defect or condition to the owner, and if the defect or condition is not corrected within 30 days, it shall be deemed to be an impairment and reported in writing to the fire department. Fire Code 901.7.5 Identifying out-of-service systems using disks slash tags Systems that are out of service, both planned and unplanned, shall be immediately identified by placing a tag at each of the following locations. Fire department connections, system control valves, fire command center or other clearly visible location in the lobby of the building indicating which system or part thereof is out of service. Impairment coordinators slash building owners shall ensure the placement of these tags by MFSPCs or MLP as restricted. In addition, for an unplanned out of service condition, a disc, white or blue, shall be placed at all affected fire department connections to inform responding fire department units of the out of service condition. The impairment coordinator slash building owner shall ensure placement of these discs by MFSPCs, MLPs, as restricted, or FDNY units. When the condition has been corrected, the discs shall be removed immediately. Tag requirement. A tag shall be used to indicate that a system or portion is out of service. Fire Code 901.7.2 A master fire suppression piping contractor, Class A or B, or a master plumber, as restricted, shall be required to post tags at the main control valve and at any closed sectional valve serving areas affected. The tag shall indicate the area affected. A brief description of the condition, the occupancy classification, C of F number, and the estimated time until the system becomes operational. 
Drain test results shall be posted on the tag indicating both the static and flow pressures before and after the system was placed in an out-of-service condition. If no impairment is found in the entire system, green tags will be placed on the main control valve. Systems partially or fully out of service. Fire suppression piping systems equipped with fire department connections shall follow the following procedures for identifying systems out of service. Systems fully out of service. The impairment coordinator slash building owner shall ensure that the local administrative fire company, master fire suppression contractor, class A or B, or MLPs, as restricted, has placed one white disc eight to nine inches in diameter on all affected fire department connections. A red tag shall be placed at the main control valve indicating the sprinkler company name, date of removal from service, and anticipated return to service date. Systems partially out of service. The impairment coordinator slash building owner shall ensure that the local administrative fire company, FSPCs, or FDNY units master fire suppression contractor class A or B, has placed one blue disc eight to nine inches in diameter on all affected fire department connections. A red tag shall be placed at the main control valve and any closed sectional valve indicating the company name, date of removal from service, and anticipated return to service date. The certificate of fitness holder and the impairment coordinator shall be made aware of and authorize the placement of systems out of service that are planned to be shut down. The impairment coordinator prior to taking a system out of service shall determine the duration the system is to be out of service, inspect the areas of the building affected and assess the increased risk, notify the insurance carrier, the central station operator if so equipped, the occupants of the affected area and place out of service tags and discs at the appropriate locations, Fire Code 901.7.4 Impaired Equipment Underground service mains, water storage tanks, fire department connections, control valves, fire and or booster pumps that are out of service and are considered vital to part of the system that are required to be tagged following procedures outlined in Chapter 14, NFPA No. 25, 2002 edition. Tags placed at control valves shall indicate the level of impairment or defect as follows. System fully out of service, red tag, white disc. System partially out of service, red tag, blue disc. System appears free of defects or deficiencies, green tag, no disc. Only FDNY, owner, MFSPC or MLP as restricted, may place a tag on a system. For systems that are fully or partially out of service that are not equipped with fire department connections, the appropriate tags shall be placed at the main control valve. FDNY is to be notified immediately. In a building required by the NYC Fire Code to have a fire safety director with F58 or F25, an engineer Q01 and Q99 with the S12C of F is authorized to take the system out of the service for less than eight hours and place an appropriate colored tag on that system. The FSD and the engineer must be on the premises at all times. Prior to returning a system to service, the impairment coordinator shall ensure that the necessary tests and inspections are conducted to verify that the system is operating normally, notify FDNY borough dispatcher, the building owner's tenants in the affected area, the insurance carrier, central station operator, if so equipped, and remove out-of-service tags and discs. Fire Code 901.7.6 Protection of Sprinkler Systems all parts of an automatic system exposed to freezing temperatures shall be protected from freezing or in lieu thereof an automatic dry pipe system or a system filled with a non-freezing, non-combustible solution shall be used. When a system filled with a non-freezing solution is used and the system is connected to a potable drinking water supply, it shall be subject to the requirements of the Health Department and the Bureau of Water Supply of the Department of Environmental Protection and may require that a backflow preventer be installed. Approved non-freezing solutions, including glycerin, not greater than 50%, and propylene glycol, not greater than 40% non-freezing solution. Sprinkler heads subject to damage shall be protected. 4. General procedure for record keeping, impairments, and safety. It shall be the responsibility of the certificate of fitness holder to perform the following. Record keeping. The certificate of fitness holder shall maintain a detailed record of all inspections. A record with the date of each inspection, the certificate of fitness number, 
and the signature of the certificate of fitness holder shall be posted near the main control valve. A detailed inspection report shall include information relative to conditions of water supply, gravity and pressure tanks and levels therein, valves, risers, piping, sprinkler heads, and fire department connections, alarms, fire, booster, and special service pumps, obstructions and conditions of all other system equipment and appurtenances. All defects and or impairments shall be noted on the report. Records shall be readily available to any representative of the fire department. These records are to be maintained on site by the building owner for three years. Notification of all defects shall be reported to the owner or their representative by the certificate of fitness holder. After 30 days, any of the defects that have not been corrected shall be immediately reported to the fire department borough communication office. Failure to make inspections, maintain records, and report defects or violations may be cause for revocation of the certificate of fitness and court enforcement proceedings. 5. Individuals authorized to perform tasks as specified in the New York City Fire Code. 1. C of F for S12. Visual inspections only, proper notification, and record inspection results for examination by the FDNY. 2. A C of F holder for S12 employees of a single or multiple properties under common ownership, employed by the same building owner slash management company, by a site-specific building owner with the following certifications. Refrigeration Operating Engineer, Refrigeration Q99 and Q01, a high-pressure operating engineer and a New York State high-pressure operating engineer are permitted to perform visual inspections, test notification appliances, perform daily and weekly routine maintenance, and record all inspection, testing, and maintenance results for examination. 3. A Master Fire Suppression Piping Contractor, A or B, MFSPC, with S12C of F, can inspect, test, maintain, and repair slash replace all fire standpipe and sprinkler systems components, record maintenance, inspection, and test results for examination and evaluation by the FDNY. 4. A master plumber with S12 is limited to residential occupancies 30 sprinkler heads or less without a booster pump. This concludes Volume 1. Repeat each chapter as often as you need until you feel confident with the material. Post any follow-up questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to stay current on updates to existing exams and to be notified of new test preparation content. If you found this video helpful to you in any way, please be sure to leave a like. Thank you for watching.